Hello, professor. So here's my code. Oh, this is from last lab. Excuse that. Um, I included Irvine Library. I needed that. And this is just the beginning, as always. For the data, it's mostly just prompts. So prompt, please enter a number. Prompt two, please enter a second number. Then the result is the answer. And then um, if they don't put in, um, I put an error error because that was requested in the in the lab. The and message, uh, the and operation is being performed. The or message, the or operation is being performed. The not message, the not operation is being performed. And the zor message, the zor operation is being performed. And then here's the actual menu. Um, please select one of the option by numbers. Um, one, two, three, four, five. This is all that. And then here's the actual um, code. Um, in the lab, you said you didn't want any um, processes, but I did have to use. <laughs> I'm not sure how to not like do it without a main process. So I hope this is all right. Um, and then I'm getting numbers from the user. So move EDX offset the prompt call right string. So this is calling um, the first prompt. So it's going to show please enter a number. And then um, I'm that's going to be stored in after it's stored in the EAX, I'm going to be moving it into the EBX register. And then I'm going to ask the second prompt, which is uh, to put in the second, please enter a second number. And then that's going to be saved in the ED, EAX register. And so after this line, um, the first number is in EBX and the second number is in EAX. And now um, here's like loop one, please, um, the loop one is move EDX offset menu, right string. So this is going to show the menu when uh, I call it and then call call read uh, character because character one, two, three, four, five. And then um, I'm going to, to compare um, one. So if they put one, it's going to jump equal to loop two. So it's going to come down here. But then if it's um, above one, so if it's like zero, then it's going to jump above and it's going to jump down to loop six, which is the error loop, and it's down there. And then same thing for compare two. So if they put two in and it's equal to two, then so if they put two in, it's going to jump equal down to three. And then it gets a little confusing because the numbers are a little um, out of order. So like if they put one, it's going to be and, but um, this the menu is the first loop, so if they put one, it's going to jump down to loop two, so that's why it's a little out of order like that. But then it just keeps doing that all the way up until um, the fifth one, which is exit. And so if they do put five, it's going to jump down to, um, to loop seven, which is just the end of the program. And then if they do a number over five, like if they put six or seven or eight, it's gonna jump below to uh, L6. And L6 again is the error loop I put. But let's say they do put one, then it's gonna, if they, let's say they do put two numbers and then they put one, it's gonna compare, compare it. And because it's equal, it's gonna jump down to loop two. And when it's gonna jump down to loop two, it's gonna uh, and EAX and EBX. And then I'm moving the offset of and message into EDX and call write string. So it's also going to output um, the and operation is being performed. And then I also found that I had to uh, use this. I forgot what it was called, but I used this to like, because it would, um, it would be like a message. And then here's the other message. But when you use this command, then it's, um, it basically puts it down like that. So it's not uh, difficult to read for the user. It basically just jumps down a line. And then um, I moved uh, the result off uh, byte into the EDX register, and then I called write string, and then write the decimal. So it also writes the answer. And then at the very end, it just jumps down to loop seven. And in loop seven, it's the end of the program. And then I just did that for all um, all of the options. So if they put three, 
oh no, sorry. If they put two in, then it's gonna jump down to loop three. If they put three in, it's gonna jump down to loop four. And if they put loop four in, it's gonna jump down to loop five. And then if they put five in, it's gonna jump down to loop six. Um, so yeah, three is or. It's basically the exact same thing as this one. It's just instead of and, I used or and um, not, not EAX, and then Zor EAX and EBX. And then here's the error. So I moved offset error, call right string. So it's gonna put the error message, which is invalid number, try again. And then I also, again, I put the um, this one so it jumps to a lower line so it doesn't hit the menu prompt. And then I put jump back no matter what, it's just gonna jump back to L1. It's just gonna repeat the same thing. And then here's when I actually test the code. So we're gonna run it, and then it's gonna ask for us to enter a number. Let's do one, and then please enter a second number, two, and then please select an option by number. Let's just do the and one, and the and operation is being performed, and the answer is one. And then I also put dump reg at the very end so you can see the registers. And then um, since that worked, Let's try to use an invalid number. So enter number one, two, and then let's enter six, which isn't an option. So I entered six, um, invalid number, try again. And so it's gonna give them the option again to try, uh, try again until they get something that works, five, for example.